My name's Callum Van Workhoven. I'm one of the part-timers. Uh, I live here in Betsicoid, North Wales. Uh, probably one of the best spots you could get for kind of climbing in North Wales, pretty close to everything. Uh, I can just look out the window like I'm doing right now and uh, basically sea climbing, which is always good. A few different projects at the moment, uh, kind of scoping out stuff that I want to do. Uh, like really interesting lines like Beltane in the snake quarries at the moment. Um, that's a big one. I'd really like to do that soon. Um, but apart from that, kind of exploring, making the most of my time here, uh, rather than just sitting inside and complaining about the weather all the time. Ah, well, I don't know, like, I thought, because I top roped it a bit, I top roped it about three or four times, so I was going up and going up and down and dogging on the rope and just trying all the moves, and I hadn't actually sequenced it all together on top rope, it was all just, um, all just in sections, and then that first go on lead um, felt good, I, I wasn't feeling too bad, and I thought, Instead of just top roping it more and more and kind of getting used to having a top rope there, just go for it and just try it, try really hard on the lead. So the first sort of five metres of climbing from the floor uh, is quite easy and you get to like these two undercuts and then you reach up to this properly dire crimp uh, and you get your foot over your hand onto quite a decent foothold. Uh, and then you've got to really, really rock over on those to get like this decent side pull, which you then can then use to really crank yourself over on that left foot and stand up. Uh, and that's sort of like a really strong introduction to the route. Like. I sort of went into shutdown, not a shutdown, but my mind went into shutdown. Like, I just, the, the fear aspect was just completely drowned away from me and I just went into climbing mode and just cranked really hard uh, and just kind of, yeah, sailed through it, I suppose. Um, and then, and you have your bubble, have your little climbing bubble where you, you're sailing and you're not worried about falling or anything. And then, as soon as that left foot came off, I was back, back in real life back out of my climbing bubble and that was when I had to really compose myself to pull up on that top rock over and go for the top move.
My name's Andy Myers. I'm the uh, editor and photographer at The Part-Timers. Uh, my job is basically to edit all the footage we have and take uh, pictures for our Tumblr and Facebook page, Instagram, all that. It all goes on to the, to the right channels. Towards the end of the week, I really thought I could push my grade. So I, uh, I found a, a really cool line, a uh, V8 line, called Ultimate Retro Party, which is in the Cromlech boulders. And, you know, I've heard some good things about it from a friend of mine who was, uh, who was at the pass as well. So I thought I'd give it a go. And uh, I fell off past the crux move. Um, I did all the hard moves and I fell off right afterwards. And my skin was absolutely shot. Like I, you know, I, was, I touched the rock and as soon as you touch the rock, it just like, I could just feel everything. It was just the most, my skin was just really sensitive. And I was just thinking to myself, like, I've only really got one go to get it done. I'm a bullet from a gun and I'm coming to your town. You'll do a 7-8 tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? No, I'm fucking right. You will. I think you'll be able to do the edge. Where's the edge sit start tomorrow. My name is Charlotte Tricklebank and I am one of the part-timers. We had a trip in Wales recently where I did my first 7-8. locking off on a tiny crimp and only just being able to reach the next hold.